We have got realignment talk, my brother. The AAC, it has been reported today that Air Force and Colorado State have worked out a deal with the AAC to leave the Mountain West and join that conference. Talks with Boise and San Diego State broke down, and it is expected to be announced sometime next week. This seemed kind of fast, but of course we have seen a lot of things move very quickly. The talk right now is that there are more Mountain West teams that would like to leave to join the AAC, just not San Diego State and Boise. Now, who those teams are, I have no idea. I I can't even begin to speculate. I know that it is expected that UAB is going to join in the next week or two after Air Force and Colorado State are announced. That puts the AAC back up to 11 teams. Do you you have any ideas? I, I feel like Fresno could be a lot of fun in the AAC, but I don't know that they would want to come over if they have no other California counterpart. I don't. I don't know what the end game is here. How, what are your thoughts on it? So I'm shocked that Boise and San Diego State are not interested. I'm also shocked that the AAC was interested in Colorado State. I don't know why. And I will tell you this: they put a lot of investment in their football program. But I will say this: they make some of the dumbest hires you have ever seen in your life. I have no idea. Steve Adazio, like as much as we love Steve Adazio, he was not a good fit there at all. And on top of that, the guys that they brought before that, Mike Bobo, Jim McElwain proved successful. But even that was not a a great fit. I guess maybe it was because at least McElwain had Mountain West experience from when he was over at Fresno. But good gracious, man. I, I I don't know what they're doing inside that athletic department, but they do have a ton of support from from their boosters, et cetera. And, I mean, they got a hell of a stadium. They got a massive media market because they're right outside of Denver. You know, now I don't know why you would need both Air Force and Colorado State, but... That's the problem. I don't know why you brought both of them. I do know why Air Force came. We've already got Navy. So so it just makes sense that we would try to get all of the armed forces at some point in time. That would, that would draw some cachet to the American conference. That makes, you know, that all makes total sense to me. I just don't understand why they would want Colorado State. And like I said, I don't get why the other two schools would rather stay in the Mountain West. Yeah, I, the only... So what I have read is that Boise State really wants to... They really want to be in the next lineup for the Big 12, right? Because they are expecting the Big 12 to expand again after this first round of realignment. And who knows what that's going to look like or when that will be, probably 2024. Why leave to go to another league if you're just going to end up in the Big 12 anyway? If the Big 12 wanted them, I don't know why they wouldn't have taken them in its first batch, honestly. But either way, I outside of those two teams, we've got Wyoming, we've got New Mexico, we've got Utah State, Fresno State, San Jose State, Nevada, Hawaii, UNLV. Um, Maybe Nevada? I mean, (laughs) I don't know. I, I think maybe you don't stick to the Mountain West after this. Maybe you go and get those two out of Colorado and you go find somebody else. Maybe you go pluck yeah. a, a Liberty from the independent ranks. Maybe you go pull yeah. somebody else. Uh, I will tell you this, for the Mountain West, what this does is open up two spots. I think there's a possibility that they end up bringing North Dakota State and South Dakota State into the Mountain West, and I think it could play. It could pay dividends for everybody involved if that were to happen. I, I think those are the next two up that would do well by moving up to the FBS. Do you kind of feel the same way? Yes. Sam Houston State, maybe. Maybe. James Madison, maybe. But that seems like a pretty good fit there because the, the Mountain West is going to be looking for uh, new partners. So the ever-changing landscape, of course, continues on. Realignment continues on. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.